My research focuses on probiotic bacteria and how probiotic bacteria influence development both in a marine context for marine organisms and also um, this is spilled over into looking at microbes and how they benefit humans. There are seven days today. That looks pretty really confident, yeah. yeah. To do this, I have a team of undergraduates and graduate students and a postdoc. In the lab, we work on a marine tube worm called Hydroides elegans. It's this small tube worm that actually is a pest in the shipping industry because they stick to the bottoms of hulls and then cause a lot of drag and that causes fuel consumption. But because they're pests, they multiply quickly and that makes them really good study organisms. So we can actually see the syringe structures produced by bacteria using this microscope. And we can also look at the tube worm larvae and watch them undergo metamorphosis in response to the bacteria. So we're interested in how the injection systems are inducing metamorphosis. And so we're looking at the cargo, which is inside the injection system. And my role was to then purify the cargo, which is a protein. And then using electroporation, we essentially zap the worms, getting the protein in and showing that the protein itself is able to induce metamorphosis. Lots of proteins as therapeutics are difficult to get into human cells or animal cells because of their protein structure. But the syringe could be used as a delivery system to get proteins into the cells and then allow them to do their job once they're in there. So that makes it a, a big therapeutic leap in terms of drug delivery. One potential application for delivery of proteins to human cells could be, for example, vaccines. You could also imagine that we could target cancer cells using these syringe structures and try to kill them by injecting a toxic protein. Another application could be delivering peptides that are pain blockers, um, which could be um, useful alternatives to opioid treatments. So these syringe structures are unique because they don't target bacterial cells, which other people have shown similar structures can do, but these are unique because they can target animal cells. And that means that we could potentially use them to inject therapeutics into animal cells, including human cells.